Uh, hello, I just wanted to make this video um, showcasing a, um, a theoretical turn 5 win with this janky deck that I just uh, built, that where I only drew uh, 1 mana uh, for the first 4 turns. Uh, so, here's how it goes. So, turn 1, I uh, play Canopy Vista tapped, because it has to be. Uh, these are the four cards that I drew uh, throughout the game. Uh, so turn two, draw. Turn two, um, I just, very humble play, just went, have this for Arbor Elf. That's all I can really do. Uh, turn three, draw another one of these cards. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I drew the planes last. I know that for a fact. That's the one thing that matters. Uh, so turn three, tap this to oh, tap this to enchant it with a Utopia Sprawl, then tap the Arbor Elf to untap this, make two green mana, and drop double birds. So in spite of everything, um, turn three we have uh, we have effectively six mana on board. This is the power of uh, these mana dorks plus like Arbor Elf and Utopia's Brawl really synergizing together well. Uh, so yeah, like in spite of the extremely slow start, um, still at six mana on turn three. Uh, green is kind of crazy. Um, Alright, yeah, so turn four starts. Um, so on turn four here, uh, we actually want to just go all in, make at least two white mana for Baron Glory. This is our win condition. Um, and on turn five, we're gonna do our best to we're gonna do our best to uh, empty our entire hand and uh, field uh, so that Baron Glory goes off and we win. Turn five. I finally draw planes. Um, I didn't even. I, it didn't even matter actually. Uh, this could have been not the planes. This could have been anything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, would have been fine. Uh, so yeah, uh, tap this. Or it doesn't really matter. We just need a. Uh, we just need a diamond lion on board because uh, diamond lion is how we're gonna empty our hand. Um, having this path to exile is nice uh, to just get rid of any uh, problematic thing on the board. Um, or any like big creature that might be swinging in dealing lethal or something. Something is trampled in this situation. That's where you'd want to use that. But point is, we have plenty of mana and blockers to deal with this. We can't block with the diamond lion, but uh, I don't know. I feel like this is this is like pretty resilient to any push that might happen. Um, yeah, because uh, like the best combat trick that this deck has, I don't know, like yeah, maybe after using a path to exile, um, is also like how we clear the board. It's renounce. Um, so basically, what happens here is after I declare blockers, right? Like, like uh, obviously, like turn five, my opponents have my opponent has a huge board here, and they're they're swinging for game. Um, so what I do is I declare blockers. Um, Probably not Arbor Elf, because I'm going to use that to pay the meta, right, to actually cast uh, Renounce, right? But uh, So I, I have two blockers here, right? So that's eating up at least some damage. And then what I do is I, I cast Renounce, and what Renounce is going to do is Renounce is going to clear every permanent except Diamond Line off of my board. Yes, even the lands. But what happens here is since I already declared blockers, even though the birds are no longer there, the damage still doesn't come to me. In addition, Renounce makes me gain 2 life for each permanent I sacrifice, since I just sacrificed 6 permanents, I'm gaining 12 life. Uh, so the point is I, I'm like very, very resilient to dying here. Uh, and then just during the end step, I can just crack Diamond, Li Diamond Lion, discard my hand, doesn't matter what that last card in my hand was. Could have been anything, could have even been a second copy of Baron Glory, it doesn't matter. Diamond Lion makes it so that there are no bricks in this deck. Uh, and then, yeah, Baron Glory goes off. 
uh, on my attack. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.